peace infinite waters diving deep once again we're here in nature breathing in that good prana i want i want it right now universe doesn't always give us what we want but it will always give us what we need even a slap in the face ouch can i get a hello there mind tricks to get what you want a lot of us we use so much force we say it's a dog eat dog world i have to survive i have to grind i have to be someone else just to fit into this society and i tapped into the secret you got children running around there they also tapped into the secret that it's about letting go it's about surrendering that there's a difference between what you want and what you need what you need is in alignment to your core frequency it is always trying to get closer to you your mindset is keeping it away what you want is trying to escape from you but your mindset is holding on to it it's not in alignment i want a bigger car but do you need it have you become a vibrational match to it i've seen that there are so many mind games we all play whether it's mirroring at work your boss is laughing and you're like <laughs> Can I get that promotion? <laughs> Can I get the promotion? No, you still didn't get the promotion. Door in the face where you ask for something big and then you ask for something small. Your brother or sister calls you middle of the night. They don't care. Can you pick me up from the airport? No. Or you might say yes. <laughs> But you say no. Then they ask you, "Well, can you take my clothes to the laundry?" Of course, cuz now you feel really guilty that you didn't pick them up. So that's the least you could do. And that's all they wanted anyway. Foot in the door where you ask for something small and then something massive. "Hey, can I borrow your pen?" "Sure." I was wondering, "Can I use your car over the weekend uh do i even know who you are let's start there so all of this takes us out of our authenticity you have advertisers marketers all trying to influence our minds and i realize a secret it's all about connecting to what makes you most happy what makes you feel most alive and ask yourself what are you planting in your mind because every thought we have is a seed and we collect the harvest once we become conscious that we are co-creators a lot of us we're focusing on things that aren't serving us that was me along my early journey i want this thank goodness i didn't get it <laughs> because the moment i surrendered i saw i had everything i need all i had to do was cultivate it i say the law of attraction is radical action we don't have to attract what we already are ah all we have to do is become sensitive to our true heart's desires and we do that by becoming a vibrational match by letting go of fear take a risk you might just win the jackpot <laughs> you never know because a lot of us we get stuck in a routine we get stuck in a pattern and therefore we can never know all we could have become I don't focus on what I want because that creates separation. I see myself as already having it. I say I have. And even if I don't have it, if I don't have it, I still say I've got it because that gives me 
a better feeling. And also, you have to move into your body. That's what I've seen along my journey. To manifest anything, it takes having a relationship with it. Have you paid your dues? Have you spent time with it? The great trumpet player Miles Davis said, you just have to touch it, referring to his trumpet. Just touch it every single day. Your passion, your childhood dream and watch it grow. More so, find the others. That's what I tell myself. That's what's helped me. We are not here just to create by ourselves. We are here to bask in the glory together. That's what makes life sweeter. And the more you do that, you start to attract everything you are worthy of. But ask yourself, how do you see yourself? If you doubt yourself, if you hate yourself, guess what? You become a vibrational match. Because once you change your vibrational frequency, everything aligns to the same frequency. There was a time where I used to take life so seriously. And it was as if the harder I tried, the harder it got. The less I tried, the easier it got. Because there is a mathematical design in the universe. We are here to have a party, to enjoy ourselves. What is stopping us? Our mindset. Our talking down towards ourselves. Treat yourself like your best friend and always remind yourself, how do you feel when you are doing this? I wouldn't be anywhere else but nature. And right now, it's about connecting with kindred spirits as the whole earth is awakening. Whatever you need is already inside of you. We are here in nature, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace. Thank you.